Hey everyone, Dennis here from Ploy.io. In this video, I will be showing you how easy it is to roll back deployments. So if I head over to my site, you will see I have already done three deployments earlier. Uh, currently, I have the first deployment active. So if I were to visit my website, which I am doing through the new uh, view domain, testing domain feature from Ploy, you will see uh, Hello World. Now, if I were to roll back to a newer deployment, there we go. You can see the logs as well here. You can see that if I will to refresh, you will see hello Poil, which is incorrect. So if I were to roll back to the newest deployment and wait a bit, oh, that was quite quick. You can see hello ploy. Now that's actually what it takes to roll back with ploy. Um, if you press roll back, you will also get a few options to select. Uh, a little bit of an explanation how we uh, roll back and two checkboxes uh, which are executed on the rollback so in case if you have OP cache enabled you will want to reload the PHP FPM worker and in case if you have the fast CGI cache enabled uh, you will also want to flush that uh, in case if you uh, are doing some hard caching so you are sure that the rollback is completely visible to the previous deployment you selected. So if I were to refresh again, you can see hello Poil. And if I were to roll back all the way back to the first deployment, there we go. You can see hello world, which is the initial commit and deployment. And that's it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.